Skip it up and that up. And another launch retail PS4 down for the count. And this time it seems like it's a graphics processor issue. Here is a video a guy posted on YouTube. Take a look. So the PlayStation 4 is brand new and it's having a little bit of a video card issue where it's crashing and going in and out. And uh, yeah, not good, Sony. Hopefully, uh, I get a new one here. Thanks, guys. So, let me try to look at the bright side of this. Maybe all these journalism sites like IGN, Kotaku, and all these guys who got Taco Bell PS4s, maybe they got one bad batch. They all came from the same bad batch, and that's why they're all just so happened to be having the same issues or similar issues or whatever, bricked PS4s at the same time. But remember back like a week and a half ago or a week ago, it wasn't that long ago, when Adam Sessler had his freak out on, on Twitter and there were other journalists agreeing with him and they were talking about, I found out they were talking about Sony. They couldn't get retail versions of the console. Sony wasn't releasing the console to journalists to use. They only would let them go to like Sony run ran events and, and they would let them use them there. They wouldn't give them a console to actually use in their offices unless they were huge like IGN or someone else and they were giving out like debug units. If you think now, I, I hope I'm wrong, man, because I'm getting the console tomorrow night with you guys just like you are. But if you think now, if you think back, it all makes sense because if Sony is having these issues, they didn't want it to get out there. But it still seems to be doing it anyway because, you know, the Taco Bell guys got their consoles and, and journalists are now reporting on them because they do have the retail versions now. And they're like, hey, there's issues with it. IGN had issues with one of theirs where it stopped displaying from the HDMI port. And if they pressed on the top of the PS4, then it would, that it would actually show something. So there's something going on for them not to be very they were really hesitant about handing out retail consoles to journalists. And then this happens. I mean, you could call me a fear monger or a conspiracy theorist if you want to, but it's all adding together. I hope to God I am hope to God I am wrong because I want to enjoy this damn console, but I just have this sinking feeling that there's going to be a lot of piss, pe pissed off people come Friday and Saturday when they take their PS4s home. And for everyone who's thinking I'm just doing this because if it was Sony, look, if it was Microsoft or if the Wii U had these issues when the console first came out, I would have talked about it too, okay? And for everyone saying, oh, he's just doing this to make a quick buck, I talk about gaming news. I talk about relevant gaming news. This is what's going on right now. Consoles are being released. Would you like me to talk about a new version of Sol Solitaire for Microsoft Windows? Come on. So, man, I'm concerned. And I, I know a lot of other people are too. This is not good. And I have a feeling this is why Sony was being really stingy with sending out retail units to reviewers and journalists to actually take a look at and use in their offices. This is probably why. I hope not. I hope it's just this one batch and this is like a somewhat large isolated incident. I don't know, man. We'll find out in a few hours. All right, guys, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.